today we're gonna unbox an HP gaming laptop, and the model is HP Pavilion Gaming 15-DK 20540X. Last time nagblog kami ng i5 variant. That was actually our first blog. And dami nang nangyare from the first time that we blog up to today. So, maraming salamat for continue watching our video. That was an i5, but now this is an i7 variant, and medyo mas matas ang onti yung video card nito. That's why ito yung bablog natin. You'd notice that it is actually unsealed na. Pinicture na ko sito ng photographer namin for posting because this is already on sale. Binibenta na namin. So probably if you're watching this video, onti na lang yung stock nito or probably out of stock. So after this video, magbibigay kami ng giveaway which is tatlong HP backpack. So please stay tuned until the end of the video. Baka kayo ang nanalo. And if you want to win a giveaway, just simple. Just like our page, subscribe to our page, and then hit that notification bell para notified kayo. And then, let's talk about this HP gaming laptop. Alright. So first of all, the chargers or charger Meron siyang dalawang saksakan. Ito yung ginagamit parati sa Pilipinas. And then, um, ito yung ginagamit mostly sa mga ibang bansa. Pwede nyo rin naman gamitin to Gagamit nila kayo na adapter. And then, charger is actually medyo malaki. So, this is 200 watts with a 19.5 volts and a 10.3 ampere. And this laptop comes with an HP sling bag. So, it's not a backpack. It's actually a sling bag. Yung accent ng pagka-sling bag niya is also like the backpack na color may pagka bluish so itabi na natin to and then let's proceed with the laptop all right first impression so katulad nung unang HP pavilion na ni vlog namin parehas na parehas siya na itsura niya it's color black with a green accent on it and the backlit is also green mapapansin niyo yung hinge nito hindi katulad ng mga ibang laptops na nasa gilid yung hinge eto nasa gitna yung hinge niya and then makikita niyo dito sa likod yung kanyang fan outlet Para siya katulad ng mga Predator eh. No? Ang ganda na design. So there's an HP logo here. And the HP logo is a little bit greenish. And then dito sa ilalim, there's an HP pavilion. And the intake of the fan is here sa ilalim. And ayun, may another pavilion na naman sa baba. Maganda yung design niya. Ayun, no? So kahit yun sa mga ports indicators niya, color green yung color ng fonts. Material made is actually a plastic. It's a fingerprint magnet. So kailangan nyo rin punas-punasan from time to time. Ang speakers nito is, is a Bang Olufsen. Ito may kita nyo yung design ng speaker niya dito sa harap. May pagka-emboss. Ayan. And there's some stickers here with the Core i7 and Vija GeForce RTX. 3050 and then 144Hz refresh rate and of course it comes with the Microsoft Office and the Office that's included here is not a trial version it's actually a lifetime hindi ka nabibili ng Microsoft Office which around costly mga nasa 5,000 per year so nakatipid ka na dito already comes with the Microsoft Office alright now let's talk about the ports on this side we got here an HDMI port and then we got here a USB 3.0 kaya may indication there in SS ibig sabihin is super speed and then we got here a LAN port or an RJ45 and a USB port 3.1 type C so pwede ka mag charge dyan as you can see there's a charging indicator and then the SD card so in case that you're using a micro SD card man mag adapter na ginagamit on this other side, nandito yung power socket, and then we have another two USB 3.0 and a one audio combo jack. So that's 3.5 millimeter, and there's a light indicator here if the laptop is on or it's reading. And now the dimension, the width is 14.17 inch, the depth is 10 inch, and the height is 0.9 inch, and the weight is 2.23 kilograms. Actually, bigat niya. And the viewing angle of this unit is somewhat of 130 degrees. It's a 15.6 inch. Medyo malaking mga borders niya dito sa taas pati sa baba. Mas maliit naman doon sa mga sides. I did notice that this is actually heavier compared to the i5 variant which is only a 1.6 kilogram. This is a 2.3 kilogram. We'll check under the chassis what's behind this unit, bakit mas mabigat siya. But before that, let's talk about the specification of this HP Pavilion 15. Okay, the processor of this unit is i7-11 370H. So that's 3.3 GHz for the base and 4.8 GHz for the turbo boost. So it's a quad core with 8 threads. The memory is 8 GB and the speed of it is 3200 MHz. The storage is 512 SSD. 
with a 1 tera HDD. So this is actually mataas yung storage niya compared sa mga ibang gaming laptops. Yung may mga iba kasi kaming gaming laptops sa 512 SSD lang. Yung iba naman 256 SSD 1 tera. But this is however is already a 512 SSD tapos meron pa siyang 1 tera HDD. It comes with two video card, the integrated this Intel Iris XE graphics and then the dedicated this Nvidia GeForce that's RTX 3050 Ti with a 4 gig GDDR6. So it's a 15.6 inch and it's full HD. It's 1920 by 1080 resolution display and it's an IPS level with 215 nits, 45% NTSC. And by the way, this is 144 hertz, so it's really ideal for first person shootings or any kind of games. Keyboard feels, I was able to score 46 words per minute, so it's actually not bad. Ayun naman talaga average speed ko. Medyo na ano lang ako sa keyboard niya, naganda na sa pagka greenish niya. And then this WASD, talaga may kita niyo yung mga highlights, may nakabox pa dun sa mga characters na yun. Even the letter A, iba yung symbol na letter A nila dito. Same with the G. Okay, so tracking pad, it's actually a standard size for the tracking pad. I'm expecting na medyo mas malaki pa yung tracking pad nito. Keypad, it's alphanumeric. It comes with a numpad. And then, as I mentioned kanina, the backlit is color green, which is actually its accent. May pagka-black greenish itong HP Pavilion gaming laptop. So right now, I'm testing the camera of this unit. What you're hearing right now is the audio quality of this HP Pavilion 15. So same like others, it's also 0.9 MP. Not so special on the camera. So katulad lang ng mga ibang laptops. Pero napasin naman that, dati sa mga ibang vlogs namin, kahit 0.9 MP yung camera, medyo malabo. Ito medyo okay pa rin naman. So we talk about the specifications of this unit. Dati kasing vlog namin na ganito is 1650. Now we're trying a 3050. So i-check natin yung difference nila. Kahit mga 50 series sila, so we will try it on AAA games. So hindi na natin susubukan yung mga medyo light games katulad ng mga Valorant and yung mga Counter-Strike. Kasi alam naman natin magma-max FPS to eh. So iyanan natin sa medyo mas mataas pang games. Katulad ng mga yun, GTA and the Days Gone. Fuck these guys! Get down! Dumb fucking cops! Get out of here! I'm good. You little dick niggas do like... Oh! You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass shoot. Where the hell's he going? There isn't shit out of here but a bunch of freaks. Blood. He's not getting far. Come on. I want to leave anyone to the freaks. Not even a piece of shit like Leon. There we have it. We tested on games. You check the FPS sa mga games na inanan natin. Now, i-open naman natin yung chassis na to. Let's see kung ano yung mga pwedeng i-upgrade dito. Tawagin natin yung technician natin para baklasin itong laptop na ito. Alright, so thank you sa technician natin na nag-open ng chassis. Okay, may dalawang fan dito sa magkabilang side. So kanina sinabi ko dito nag-in yung fan and then nag out dito sa likod. So hindi ka to ng mga ibang gaming laptops na meron din sa side. Ito talaga parang ano lang, one direction. It's running an 8 gig memory. Currently may nakakabit na 8 gig dito. So there's a free slot of memory. Ang pinaka ideal ata dito is magdagdag pa ng additional 8 gig para mag 16. The SSD is located here, so hindi na natin siya tatanggalin. And then, yung 1 tera HDD na dito. So, it's 512, 1 tera. So, and of course, the processor here and the uh, GPU is here. Just to sum it up, ang pwede pang i-upgrade dito is a memory. Hindi nyo na kailangan mag-add mga storage. Actually, kasi malaki na rin naman yung storage nito eh. And by the way, this laptop comes with a one-week replacement warranty and a two years HP warranty. So, anything happens on it, pwede naman kayo pumunta sa any HP service center para magpa-repair or upgrade. Okay? So, tabi na natin to and then let's talk about the pros and the cons of this unit. Isa sa mga pros na nakita ko yung aesthetics niya. Okay yung design niya. Okay yung fan niya sa likod. And then, medyo na iba siya sa mga hinges kasi ibang laptop ang hinges na sa gilid. Ito, nasa gitna eh. And then, yung pagka-black niya with the green accent, medyo okay sa akin yon. Of course, ganun din yung keyboard, color green. One of the pros on this unit is meron na siyang kasamang Microsoft Office. Kasi as I mentioned, yung Microsoft Office alone, that will cost you around mga 3000 to 5000 
And that is actually a yearly subscription pa. This is already a lifetime. It's also ideal for students, aside from the gaming laptop side, ayun, may kasama ng office. Now, let's talk about the concept of this unit. Isa sa mga napansin ko dito is sa fingerprint magnet. Pag lagi mo siyang hinahawak ka, ano yan, may kita yung mga thumb marks mo. So, kailangan mo talaga ng mga pamunas para matanggal yung mga thumb marks. And isa sa napansin ko rin sa mga cons nito is the processor. Yes, it is an i7 processor, but medyo mababa yung cores niya compared sa mga ibang laptop which is a hexa-core or a octa-core. This is only running a quad-core with an 8 threads. Pero isang factor din yun kaya medyo mas mura siya compared sa mga i7 na gaming laptop. We'll talk about the prices later. Sino ba ang target market ng HP Pavilion na to? Of course, it is actually ideal sa mga engineering students kasi it already comes with the Microsoft Office and it's a 4GB dedicated gaming laptop. Pwede rin siya sa mga basic AutoCAD, yung mga ganyan, photo editing and video editing kasama doon. Basta any application that will run under a 4 gig memory will do. Hindi lang naman pwede actually dito yung talagang super intense video editing or creating animations katulad ng mga Lumion, yung mga ganyan. Of course, kung pwede yan, yung mga AAA games, nakita nyo naman, pwede naman. So, if AAA games can run on this one, of course, yung mga basic games, kayang-kaya naman ito. About the price of this unit, kung sa labas nyo bibili nito, roughly, or SRP actually nito is 70,000. But here in Laptop Factory on our circuit base, Dati, binibenta namin ito ng mga 64,000 but now we're running a sale, it price drop to 60,000 na lang. So that's actually a 10,000 difference for an i7 laptop. This sale price is actually sometimes babalik siya sa regular price, sometimes sa sale price. That is why we suggest if you are interested in buying this unit, please visit our Facebook page kasi doon namin ina-update yung mga presyo ng mga units namin. Minsan naka-sale or minsan naka-regular price. And what I'm saying right now, currently naka-sale kami, sayang naman, for 60,000 naka-i7 with an RTX laptop. So kayong magsasabi, is it worth it for a laptop, 60,000? And for those na nakabili na ng unit na to, you can actually comment down below on this section para naman it could help the new buyers. Kung meron kang positive feedback or negative feedback, message mo dyan. Your feedback is highly appreciated. If you are interested in buying this unit, you can avail this in any of our branches. We do have branches nationwide. So, kahit Visayas, Mindanao, we're just gonna list of the shop at the end of this video. So, kung ayaw mo naman pumunta sa mga stores namin, pwede naman natin pa-deliver yan. So, we do have cash and delivery also nationwide. And then, we also have installment. Pero kasi installment natin only available at stores. So, you need to go to our store to avail home credit or yung mga credit cards na yan. But don't worry. We also have this build ease na it's also an online installment. But there's a process on applying online installment. We're just gonna send the link below, okay? So, after this video, mamimigay kami ng tatlong HP backpack. So, it's just simple. If you want to win this kind of giveaways, number one, just like our videos. Number two, subscribe to our channel. And then, hit that notification bell. Kasi lahat naman ng kinikita namin dito, ibinabalik din namin sa inyo. Kasi, ayun nga, this video is just for awareness para at least alam mo kung ano yung binibili mo sa amin. Para hindi ka rin lugi. Para you are well informed or bago mo bilhin, alam mo na kung ano yung tsura ng laptop na yun. Okay? I think I said everything on the laptop and then this giveaway. So, then again, this is Dustin from Laptop Factory. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Hello. Today, we'll come uh, we're box. <laughs> So yung mga estudyante dyan na gustong bumili ng laptop, sabihin nyo, Ma, kailangan ko ng laptop na may kasamang Microsoft Office eh. Baka pwede HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop 15. So at least may pang excuse na kayo kasi may kasama naman ng Microsoft Office. Eh, joke lang. <laughs> Parang pangit nun. Ulit. Okay. Ulit, ulit, ulit. <laughs>